Capricorn, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my darling. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Capricorn, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heffa. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Caps, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. All right, let's talk about your energy. Soul food, comfort eating. That's how I feel in your energy. Um, I feel that life is life in, and you just don't feel like it. But if you can't count on anything, you can count on that ice cream, that pastry, that sweet, that uh, good bread, you know, the margarita and, and salsa, what, whatever. Um, so be careful. All right. I'm a thick -ums myself. I ain't going to lie. So I understand. <laughs> But be careful. You know, if you need a binge day, binge. If you need that day or that, that splurge meal where you just kind of want a bite of everything, do it. You do it. Because sometimes people be people and life be life and work be working. And if you can't count on anything that kind of like makes you, give you comfort, sometimes it's food. You know, um, some people do other things. <laughs> but... Food is something that's legal. Hello. You know, so if you that's what you need to do, do it. Just be careful. You can't stay there. You know, you can't stay there, my love. You, you can go there, visit, you know, get what you need, and then you got to get out of that. All right. So let's see what's going on. We're pulling from the Oracle of the Seven Energies for you. Capricorn, please and thank you. Capricorn energy, please, and thank you. Capricorn, please, and thank you. There it is. Yeah. Bearing fruit. This is the tree of abundance, you know? Tree of life, tree of knowledge. I mean, pick one. Damn it, it's a tree. But it, it uh, bears fruit. And that fruit is from that cultivation, that labor, the seed you planted. So something that you have worked on will start to produce for you. Um, it's just that maybe that season of waiting is a little disheartening. Okay? You have great big love coming in. Now, this isn't always about love connections. Um, but it could be. I ain't going to lie. Mostly great big love talks about self-love or you getting in alignment with the most high, you know, where you're really feeling good where you stand and that's um, divine love, you know, the love of, I don't know, grandmom's breasts, that queen of cups love, you know, those, the hug that you got, if you had like a Nana or a Mima, you know, where you just were safe in those arms. It was just a, a safe place. That's great big love kind of love. It's God's love, you know, a mother's love, if you've had that kind of love, if you can relate to that. Um, but that's what you have coming in, which will help you uh, kind of re reassure you, re-secure you, um, validate you, comfort you. Because honestly, something, uh, some type of, with this grand symphony, uh, some pieces are going to be put together to give you this epiphany, this aha moment, or now I see it, now I understand. That's what the symphony does. The symphony is uh, the groups of, um, mag not magicians, what do you call them? Damn, musicians <laughs> coming together to make one collaborative, beautiful uh, song, you know, beautiful music collectively things starting to work out. And in order for that to happen, first you have to 
um, feel this love, you know? And right now you're trying to uh, really kind of like uh, hold on as best you can. That's how this feels. I think that's why, probably why you're trying to comfort eat because you're looking for that love. So God is about to give it to you, okay? All right, let's see what's going on in your spread. Ba, 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 ba. I want traditional, but you don't feel traditional to me. So let's do, I, okay. I was gonna say new world, but I'm hearing light seers. So let's roll with light seers because like you, I'm trying to walk in obedience. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? If the, it, at Caps, I just feel like you want, like, it's not even like a Netflix and chill, but it is, you know? Just comfort, safety. <clears throat> Excuse me. I apologize, guys. I'm still struggling with this little cold. Let me have a center for Capricorn. What's at the core right now for Capricorn? Please and thank you. Yeah, see, that's, see the funk? You're really, you know, you're trying to change things and wield energy and affect change in your life by saying, I'm going to, I'm willing to deny myself things that I know aren't good for me, but uh, because I want to focus on the quality of life as opposed to just a whole bunch of quantity of nothing, you know? And uh, that's allowing you to kind of pull in abundance, which is the fruit that comes in. But at the same time, it's not really easy, you know? It's not. It's not really easy to kind of, if you ask God to remove people, places, and things that uh, weren't for your greater, you know? And then one day you look around and see nobody there. That's a pickle. It's like, are you serious? Like nobody? You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of how I feel in your energy cap. Like you feel completely not abandoned, but damn, you know? <laughs> so you're looking for some emotional support and comfort, high priestess at the bottom, and you're getting it from spirit. You're not getting it from flesh. So that's probably why, like I said, right now, people, you ain't feeling them. You know, you're just not feeling them and you don't feel like they're feeling you. Um, but you might be getting comfort from other things, food, um, uh, habits, you know, things like that. You know what I'm saying? All right. So just be mindful. Crown this energy, please, for Capricorn. Please and thank you. The Ten of Wands, yeah. You have a lot on your plate. You have a lot going on. You have a lot on your plate. And there's the love again, Queen of Cups. That's what I was talking about. You know, I can't, I, I normally I would say, put that shit down. Don't carry all that baggage. But I don't feel like that in this energy. I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. And... Um, sometimes it feels like you're pulled in different directions and right now is just one of those times where it's not about kind of what you have to do here, here, and here. It's more so about, I don't know, uh, where's the love? Where's the love? This would be a, a reading, um, it, like if you have things going on well with business, even though business is chaotic, you're still handling it, you know, but maybe you don't have a good companion, you know, um, or if let's say you and your friend group are doing great, but you and the family aren't, and you would like for that same connection with family because it's blood, you know, it's something, it's, it's something missing, but at the same time, you know, it's like, I know what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do. You, it, you, but that doesn't make it any easier. So sometimes the self-love that you give yourself is like the comfort of binging or, or, or overindulging. Um, that com I don't have to say overindulging, but just treating yourself to that treat, to that 
Um, like I said, that pastry, that's literally a half an hour from your house, you know, but you're willing to take the drive because you just want to treat yourself. You want that comfort. And that's something that you can depend on. And if you haven't done this cap, do it because it will make you feel better. Okay. It's not going to take the load off of your plate. No, but it will make you feel better. All right. What's working against Capricorn right now? What's in the way? Love. See? This is about love for you. And it, again, doesn't always have to be about a relationship, even though for a lot of you, this is because of the disappointment you have in a relationship. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but, Caps, for some of you, it's about the emotion of love itself, like just a as a general emotion, you know, not a not a specific connection, but just as a whole, you know, the term love, you know, is used very, very loosely in today's world. You know, I love you. You love me. We love us. I love this. And when you get down to the meat and potatoes, a lot of times people use this word with absolutely no clue of its true meaning or even a clue of its true feeling because caps you know how to give it and you know how to take on all these responsibilities you know but do you know how to receive do you know how to receive from someone just generally i'm just talking about regular here okay um do you feel that in a healthy way you know how to receive love or does it have to be some type of tangible exchange for you to identify it as love i mean i love you we talking you know caps it's just us cross watchers mind your damn business go check your own damn sign all right caps it's just us you know and sometimes receiving somebody's advances is difficult because you may be like a hands-on kind of prove my love person. And this person might be, um, you know, uh, I'm going to just tell you every day. And you're saying, well, show me the money. Oh my goodness. Where is this coming from for Caps? The King of Wands. All right. Let's talk about the King as generally first. The King of Wands is fire energy. It's extremely focused. It's extremely passionate. And it's very, very confident. Okay. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy, if you follow the signs. Don't get caught in that, though. Feel the energy to know if you resonate, because anybody can embody any energy at any time. And Caps, I believe that either you embodied this king and started hyper-focusing on something you wanted, and I think it was a healthy connection, all right, and a healthy emotional exchange, I think you embodied this king, started hyper-focusing, cleaning your plate, getting things in order uh, so that you can make room for a nice connection. And now you've made the room and you're like, okay, God, where's the connection? Where's the love? And you feel like you're either not getting it or you're not even seeing it as possible because the dating pool right now is dirty than a mother lover so I, I i'm with you on that um so you're looking for some comfort you're looking for some companionship which might be why um you're leaning to food but i think you embodied this energy and you said i know exactly what i want now i get it now and that turned into a whole bunch of changes within your personal life within your work life your work life balance and you're looking so unimpressed by your options, you know? Oof, Capricorn. Where are we going with this? Future energy, please. I didn't know we were talking about love today. That's not usually my MO, but hey. Um, so we have some fear here with uh, the moon. We have the uh, uncharted territory with the moon. We have some purging. 
also with the moon, Pisces and Scorpion energy. But you see what comes with this, and I'm gonna leave these sideways because oh, I think ultimately this is what's behind this moon. Once this moon work, the, this dark night is done, you use abundance in all areas of life. So now we're back to solidity, family, uh, togetherness, gathering. You controlling the beast with you, uh, embodying that empress and making a healthy connection with the two of cups. You know, that's where this is going, but you got to get through the moon and getting through the moon means dealing with maybe something you brushed under the rug some time ago, or even dealing with being comfortable in uncharted territory of life. Because see today in this skin suit is a day that you've never lived. Did you know that? You've never done it. Me neither. None of us have. It's a whole new day. Okay? So when you look at it like that, don't look to this day to be a master of it and a professional and know every damn thing and doing everything perfect and everything right and everything for everybody. No, no, no. When you're actually focusing on the quality of life, then your focus now is no longer on what can I do for the world. It's more so what would be a healthy exchange, a place of a healthy exchange for me? You know, where can my efforts be returned so that I'm not completely depleting myself um, trying to do this, that, and a third? Where can I give where I can be also restored, you know? But that means that there's something in you that has to be controlled. Some of you have a bad habit. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I don't know if it's eating or drinking or drugs or something like that, but it's here. Some type of addiction is here, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, it's here. So that needs to be controlled. And it can be controlled um, with the strength energy by you embodying the Empress, meaning stepping into your birthright, stepping into control of whatever it is. See, the Empress embodies all four queens. She embodies all of the elements and she can tap in and out as needed. You know, um, it's a very uh, fertile energy. It births life-changing events. She knows how to wield universal energies. So when you step into mastering that, that means you're stepping into who you are and what you want and who you were born to be. And when you get into that type of power and control of your skin suit, then you can make these positive connections because anything less than this isn't good enough. And that's the birthright of an empress, you know? You can't marry and become this position. You have to be born into it. Emperors and emperors are, uh, uh, empresses and emperors, emperors are born. King and queens, you can marry into and take the title, but not this, okay? So as you're learning right now, uh, the focus, passion of life, how to focus also on uh, quality instead of quantity. It's not about how many years we've been together. Like some people have more than 10 plus years here that I'm seeing. You got 10 years together, but you only have one happy. You understand? I'm, I'm just saying, we talking. I love you, Caps, but you know we talk here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you, have, you can say to somebody else, yeah, I got 10 years and I'm literally looking at one. Everything else after that has been work. It has literally just been work. And that's how I feel. So you might want like some true love here, some commitment, some comfort, uh, or this might be even somebody, can I get some damn flowers? You know, something. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is gonna be a slow process. The Knight of Pentacles is my turtle with hemorrhoids energy, but it is so promised and definitely guaranteed. The thing about the night is that when this energy steps in, you kind of want to really be comfortable because it's slow. So you don't want to be caught in anxiety, anxiety and fear, like hurry up, hurry up, go, let's go, let's go. When is my turn? When is my turn? No, you really want to be comfortable with this energy because this is a blessing coming to you and it's assured, but it's coming in slow. 
okay? It looks like, look, see, you standing there waiting on it. <laughs> I told you it's slow. It's going to be slow. I ain't going to lie. But um, great changes are coming into your life with this world energy, all right? Either you're moving or you're going to be traveling or um, you're just going to basically change your whole everything, okay? World changes change the world. Remember, fertile energy, birthing life-changing events. So this is a great change. But look how happy you are once you're completing this process. Nine of Cups is here. And you're happy even though you've been through this pain, even though you felt maybe misunderstood or abandoned or forgotten. But it didn't change what you were promised, what you work for, the fruit that comes from that labor, or the fact that you're uh, sitting under the divine. You know, Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy. It's an energy that when you're bearing fruit, as what you pulled in the Oracle, and you're enjoying the fruit of that labor, it's an intuitive energy. This is an energy, she's smiling, she's alone, you know, but she's smiling because she knows that she's leaning into divine timing. She's trusting in the most high. So this is an energy that like you're saying, you know, God, I, I'm, I'm ready when you are, you know, in the mean and in between time, I'm good. Thank you. This is pre-Empress energy. And to be here, you got to go through some stuff because this is mature. I ain't going to lie. This is a very, you have to be like really strong in your faith. You have to be really comfortable in your skin, comfortable with your journey um, in the past and uh, for what's to come, trusting in that. You know, it's a very faithful uh, pos uh, position. So once you step into that energy, when you're facing things like you don't want to deal with, um, you might not want to be involved with, with this Two of Swords, this energy will help you see a situation instead of um, half empty, but half full, you know, instead of focusing on the half empty, maybe that you focused on before, kind of like what you're feeling now, you'll see, okay, this is actually half full. So let me just chill. And when you have that kind of faith and trust, then you're again, wielding energy with the wheel of fortune, the wheel of abundance. You start wielding energy um, and changes in your life. Divine intervention steps in now, okay? That new perspective will now allow you to communicate your abundance, basically speaking into life, the life that you wanna have, you know? But this takes mastery, it does, it's a process. And it's a process that continues to cycle because even once a cycle is complete, boom, a new one begins. When we stop learning and growing, guys, is when you literally close your eyes for the last time in this skin suit, okay? That, that's, your, that, that's your completion. Other than that, if you're looking for it like an easy road or easy way or when is this over, when it's over it is when you're dead. That's it, all right? So now, now that we got that out of the way, Let's deal with what's on the table. And right now, what's on the table is you trying to get yourself together, focus on the quality of life. You have a lot on your plate. We're, we'll talk about this later because you're not even ready to put this down yet. But I want to get you healthy with your emotions. So let's deal with what is it that's making you emotionally do things to comfort you? And instead of feeling comforted. You know what I mean? Whew. All right, Caps, you came in heavy today, but I hope this helps. If any event you say green eyes, I don't know about this one. I don't think this one's for me. You know I'm okay with that. Check your moon or rising this time. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's absolutely free and it does support the channel. If any event you're looking for more content, I post more content with my Boomstick Level memberships, a little more with Leap of Faith. They both get free giveaways on a monthly basis. Jump on board, okay? Plant a seed. Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time.